to the changes going on at schools in Hillsborough County. Some parents are frustrated tonight. The district hosted its first two meetings to get parents opinions about a plan that could send thousands of students to different schools starting next school year. As some parents told us they think they aren't being heard. ABC Action News reporter Chad Mills took their concerns to the superintendent. Superintendent says the meetings this week are super important and that parents voices will be heard. Parents I talked to though aren't so sure. Harsha Makajani and her family drove here all the way from Lutz for a reason. Like this is this is not fair. She's worried about her son, Anch, a second grader at Childs Elementary. We moved here last year just so that my son can go to a Childs Elementary. Right now, Hillsborough County Public Schools is considering three scenarios to better utilize its schools and save money starting next school year by repurposing some of its underutilized campuses. It would mean thousands of students get sent to different schools, including Anch. We are basically just a bit out of that boundary. All three scenarios would send him to a different school. That community input and feedback is so important. The plans were released to the public in December, and now Superintendent Addison Davis Davis and the district are getting parents feedback in meetings like these before picking one of the three plans in late February. I just really do feel like I, it was a waste of my time. Sarah Holly's feedback, the district isn't taking feedback from people like her seriously because it already has its mind made up. No minds have been made up. The superintendent says the ultimate goal is improving the district and students and that he and other administrators could make changes to the plans based on what they hear in these meetings. And Makajani hopes that will be the case. I only have hopes in my heart, thinking that, you know, something will change. If her son is sent to a different school, she says she'll be forced to move again. If you missed the meetings on this night, there will be more throughout the week. We put the full list on our websites, abcactionnews.com. In Tampa, Chad Mills, ABC Action News.